Boss Vorea's case key witness dies riding his motorbike early on Thursday in Chiang Mai. The chairman of a parliamentary committee that was due to hear evidence from the dead man and the other key witness, reported to be ex-military senior officer, Air Marshal Jack Ritvanomkulabata, has appealed to National Police Chief Chak Thip Chajinda to take steps to protect the former military officer who is due to give evidence before a parliamentary inquiry on Wednesday, 5 August next, into the controversial case. One of two key witnesses that came forward to help clear the case against Boss Vorayath Uvidhaya has been killed in a bizarre coincidence early on Thursday morning in Chiang Mai. 40-year-old, Jerichat Mardthong, died after his motorbike appeared to have hit another motorbike on a main road into the city. The 40-year-old key witness, Jerichat Mardthong, who was scheduled to give evidence before a parliamentary committee on Wednesday, 5 August was killed on Thursday morning at 1 a.m. in what appears to be a freak motorbike accident on a quiet motorway in Chiang Mai. Police and medics rushed to the scene and attempts were made to resuscitate him but he died shortly at Maharaj Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital. One of the key witnesses who came forward in the revised police investigation into the case of Boss Vorayath Uvidhaya that led to a decision by prosecutors to drop all charges against him, has been killed. 40-year-old Jerichat Mardthong was killed in a freak motorbike accident on Thursday morning at approximately 1 a.m. in Chiang Mai. Mr. Jerichat had been working as a driver when he reportedly witnessed the accident involving 47-year-old Police Sergeant Major Wichi and Clan Prasat in the early hours of 3 September 2012 when the policeman's motorbike was struck by the luxury Ferrari driven by then 27-year-old Boss Vorayath tragically killing the married man. Other witness named as Air Marshal Jack Ritvanomkulabata, the dead man had not told his family about the Red Bull case. The other witness in the case is reported to be a retired military officer, Air Marshal Jack Ritvanomkulabata. Both were due to appear before a parliamentary committee on Wednesday, 5 August chaired by Palang Pratchett MP, Sira Janejaka. The MP had initially called the hearing for this Wednesday. On Thursday, Mr. Sira appealed to the National Police Chief, Chak Thip Chajinda, to protect the last remaining witness to the accident in 2012 who is central to the investigation and an effort to determine the facts in relation to the case itself and why it was dropped. It has come to light that Mr. Jerichat had not divulged anything to his near family about his role as a key witness in the high-profile Boss Vorayath case which is currently gripping Thailand's public across all media. Motorbike appeared to collide with another on a quiet motorway at speed at 1 a.m. on Thursday. On Thursday, it was reported that Mr. Jerichat had died in a motorbike accident when his motorbike appeared to touch or collide with another motorbike in Chiang Mai. The tragic accident happened on the Huai Kiu Road inbound into Chiang Mai near the Fertani intersection. The 40-year-old was catapulted off his motorbike which collapsed onto the ground at speed. Police from Fu Fing Rajawut Police Station, led by Lieutenant General Jarat Butwin, responded to the scene as did rescue services. They found the 40-year-old barely alive and tried to resuscitate him on the road. He died shortly after being taken to Maharaj Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital. Reported to be living in Chiang Rai, working in Bangkok in 2012 told family about a bad omen Mr. Jarachat had reportedly been living in Chiang Rai having moved to the north, at first living in Chiang Mai after finishing his work in Bangkok where he was a chauffeur in 2012. On Thursday, his 15-year-old daughter, who lives in Chiang Mai, revealed that the key witness had worked for three years in Taiwan and had been separated from his wife and family. His daughter said she had last seen her father in June but he had also, recently, told family and friends that he had been sent a bad omen when he dreamt of preparing to clean his house in advance of receiving bad news. She was unaware of his links to the controversial case. Testimony of witness was critical and made the victim a suspect in the case so that it was closed. Mr. Jerichard's testimony was critical to the decision by an assistant attorney general at the end of June to sign the order quashing all attempts to prosecute Boss or Vorayath Uvidhaya for the death of Sergeant Major Wichian in September 2012. His testimony, along with other witnesses, had essentially made the victim, in that case, the prime suspect and contributor to his own demise. The evidence to police was that the policeman, on his motorbike, had been driving dangerously before it had collided with the wealthy Red Bull Air's Ferrari. According to the testimony, it was likely that the policeman had swerved into the incoming sports car on the right-hand side of the road from the left. Other expert witnesses also suggested that Boss Vorayath was driving at below the speed limit. 
Assistant Attorney General named the Assistant Attorney General, who made the decision at the end of June to drop the last charge against the Red Bull Scion, has been named as Nate Naksuk. It has also been revealed that the Uvid Hire family have agreed on financial compensation with the family of Police Sergeant Major Witchy and Clan Prisat and that no civil or criminal proceedings are likely from that quarter. In the meantime, Several panels and inquiries have begun to look into the decision to drop the last remaining charge against the Red Bull heir, Boss Voraithu Vidhaya, and the conduct of the case since 2012 as public consternation in Thailand mounts.